Check, check, one, two, one, two. Coming through. It's the early hours. Time to move. Time to move. God, uh, I wish there was a way to uh, do some kind of meditation in Dakar, but I'm guessing that I'm guessing that that really wouldn't be very safe. as <laughs> people tend to drift away and uh, sometimes fall asleep. You can do other things in the car. Listen to music. Have conversations. Drink coffee. My car even has a fridge. What the hell would you need a fridge in a car for? Well, it's a French car. Not that that really explains why you would need a fridge, of course. Not that that explains at all why you would need a fridge. Well, I mean... Half the year is cold anyway. <laughs> and does so many things melt in the car? I don't know, maybe it's for posh people to put the little dogs in if the dog gets overheated in summer. Because it's wearing a silly little coat that it shouldn't be wearing. Maybe. Maybe. All possibilities are possible. All possibilities are possible. See, 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 I should have gone earlier. I should have turned earlier. Never mind. What did I want to talk about this morning? Human nature. Wasn't that a song by Michael Jackson? Long, long time ago. Never mind. Focus. Focus on your focus. Don't let the distractions <laughs> distract you. Human nature, specifically the nature of trying to be perfect, Is it good or bad, right or wrong, positive or negative? What does it mean to be perfect? Should you even want to be perfect? There's definitely great great beauty in the principle of perfection there's definitely something that there's something in perfection that allows things to stand out and so be outstanding
and yet however precise and accurate we are we we're always missing something and it's necessary to uh, to come to terms with the fact that we're always missing something and this whole thought process grows out of the online meeting that I had last night with a couple of people who have become over a period of time excellent guides, wonderful influences, and oddly enough, good friends, even though we've never met in the real world face to face. <laughs> the complexity of the world is matched only by its simplicity welcome to another quite amazing contra diction that exists in terms of simplicity everything has its place there is a natural order but in terms of complexity It's something which is often feared and misunderstood. In terms of complexity, that's that's our area of growth. Of development. that which does not stay the same and is never truly predictable but back to being perfect what does that really mean? because in terms of the business perspective everyone who's ever built a business everyone who's ever run a business faces problems meets issues and has their has their own challenges to solve uh, most of which we never see because because the face of the business is 
a classic example of the attempt to achieve perfection. But behind the scenes, we don't we don't see we experience the front office and not the back office. To that extent, what we're presented with is some kind of illusion. There's a great word to explore. Illusion. It's... <laughs> distinctly unhealthy. There we go, carving out the middle road again. The baser the person, the louder the noise. Didn't the Pixies have a song, Debaser? What was that even about? I remember it being a great song, with no idea what it was about. <laughs> How easily we are led. The blind leading the blind, fashioning out fashions. Living lives. With disrupted pattern material passion. I know that I'm a pedant in certain areas of my life. I wonder where that comes from. Is that a reflection of the outer universe or is that some kind of reflection of inner turmoil? That the child who had no choices and no control then seeks to control the world. The same way that the, the bullied becomes the bully. The same way that the fearful becomes the feared. <laughs> Just look at Israel for a, for a real world, real time example of that.
Am I wrong to seek perfection? Is it enough just to make corrections, to keep things flowing in the right directions? It's hard to say. I think we all appreciate higher levels of existence. I want to say that some people don't, but I think we're naturally innately attracted to, uh, to to being better and making things better. That's why we use language. That's why we move from crawling to walking. That's why that's why we should reproduce. That's why business seems like a natural process to so many people. It's just production as opposed to reproduction. The product is your baby, your child. We are all children in time. Speckles in the universe. And so the balance. is always some kind of important element to to hold on to do we need perhaps we need the imperfect to appreciate the perfect. To experience the wrong to appreciate the right. The yin to explain the yang. our enemies to appreciate our friends. Two sides of the same coin. When we fight, we become one another. It's inevitable. (laughs) 
I love the way how people explain they want to overtake you by driving up your ass with their headlights full on. The isolation of your vehicle does not provide you with as much safety as you think it does mate so I'm driving across the overpass and to my left the town is enveloped in a rainy purple haze a pre-dawn prescription for the day that is to come Opposite help us to highlight who we are after s after sunshine rain after anger blame I can't remember how it continues. <laughs> After poems, pain. <laughs> and then it's back to the start again. Is it a misconception that? to want to be perfect is in essence wrong is it bad I hope not When I went to school, we had these students with special responsibilities because because <laughs> those were the nuggets offered. To uh, to keep us focused and moving in the right direction. We call them prefects. Prefects. You think that was a play on being perfect? So we strive, we take steps forward knowing that absolute perfection is in fact impossible we can always refine things we can always alter our definition
can always improve though we might not be able to do it ourselves it's a repetitive point in the drive cast that we stand on the shoulders of giants the that history is mountains of geography that we attempt to conquer And we work on ourselves. Slowly, slowly. Bit by bit. Day by day. Through the sunshine and the rain, the happiness and the pain. The profound and profane we try to explain. And then we become who we are. And then we are who we are. I don't know if it's the right thing to to do to want to be perfect i know i don't know if it's the right thing to be to want to be perfect there is something unendingly beautiful about excellence and all of the intricacies connected with it. Excellence is beholden to the beholder. in exactly the same way that beauty is. Perfection is the destination. Never the journey. There we go. I'm where I need to be. I hope you are too. That was another drive cast. I'll speak to you soon. Have a great day.